What's going on everyone? It's time to continue on with the Alien and Predator movies. I've been working on both franchises and uh, it's time to finally talk about AVP Alien vs. Predator. Yeah, <laughs> so let's get to it. Uh, AVP Alien vs. Predator was released by, released by 20th Century Fox August 13th, 2004. It's produced by John Davis, um, Gordon Carroll, David Giller, and Walter Hill. It was written and produced by Paul W.S. Anderson. Oh, wait, written and directed by Paul W. S. Anderson. <laughs> and uh, if you're not sure who he is and no, never heard of him, well, he did Resident Evil, Resident Evil Apocalypse, Resident Evil Extinction, Resident Evil Afterlife, Resident Evil Retribution, Resident Evil Final Chapter. He also did De the Death Race remake, Death Race 2008 or something. <laughs> and uh, he but he also did uh, Monster Hunter and Event Horizon name of you. He also did like Mortal Kombat and yeah, he has uh, an interesting track record of films. Uh, but yeah, so AVP Alien vs Predator. Well, the uh, Wyland Corporation, uh, unless the help of some scientists to go on a search through an ancient pyramid buried in, Ant in Antarctica, where um, some. Um, Weird findings have been happening. So they go down and they explore the pyramid. So it turns out uh, the predator is lurking and is starting to hunt down the xenomorphs that are also lurking down there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, basically uh, it's a big showdown down in Antarctica where um, between these two species with the humans caught in the middle and uh, yeah, terror ensues. Yeah. Overall, this film was a lot of fun. It's action-packed. It has some decent characters in it. And, uh, yeah, the writing and stuff was not too bad, I thought. Uh, there's a couple flaws. I'll get to those. But, um, overall, um, I thought I really enjoyed the fight sequences. You definitely see the alien and predator face each other a lot. And that's always a good thing. And, uh, yeah, the humans are basically there to, like, for jump scare purposes and to... Uh, carry the story a bit but for the most part they give you what you want it's you want to see the xenomorphs face predator and that's what you get it's good it's the it's not too dark you can see it and it's perfectly um well done there's some really good choreographed fight scenes like there's the first main fight scene with the alien and predator it's pretty much all done practically uh there's not very much cg eye manipulation until he jumps on the roof and stuff but that is uh was always a cool thing and they do a lot of good practical stuff face hugger the face hugger aliens and stuff like that look really good too and stuff obviously the acting is not too bad cinematography is pretty good the music actually complements it and drives the story a bit which is also nice sometimes uh they put the wrong type of music in and it kind of throws the film off. But overall, I thought those were all strong points. Most of it was uh, the negatives is just um, that uh, they draw out the human exploration thing a little too much, I thought. And I also thought um, that uh, why is the predator in Antarctica when he is more attracted to extreme heat? And then it's kind of the throws that lore out the window and just goes with it with this instead. Uh, I guess they really wanted a darker setting so the Xenomorphs can blend in and stuff like that. And then the final battle with the Queen and stuff like that went by so quick. But And also the film is really predictable. So uh, you can't really... Uh, it's not like a tug of war where you think like, oh, this one might win or that one might win with like Freddy versus Jason or something like that. This one, uh, you can clearly tell who's going to win and stuff. But also, it kind of throws you off because um, it's not in the correct like area it should be held in, I thought. But overall, I thought this film was pretty well done for what it is. Uh, it's a turn off your brain and watch two monsters kill each other type of movie. It was fun, and uh, you get a lot of good... They balanced out pretty well. So, overall, I'm going to give Alien vs. Predator, AVP, a 3.5 out of 5. I thought it was good. It's by no means perfect or anything, but still, for what they had, it's a decent enough film. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. 
got that one out of the way. I still got to do the sequel to it, though. So, yeah, that will be in the next review. So make sure you ring that bell. But, yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, yeah, if you want to check it out or relive it, I'll link the trailer at least down below so you can check that out. But also make sure you check out my Instagram. That's linked down below. That's where I always post clips of films. I'm going to review in the future all my stories. Yeah, the film time, my hashtag, the subject, and film and hashtags are aware of it. Also, my letterbox is down below. Take pay reviews. That's where I post my first star rating right after watching the films. And also my Twitter is down below. Reviews underscore Derek. So follow me on those platforms. Stay in loop with this channel. Like this video. Share some more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And let me know what your favorite Alien and Predator films are, if you have any as well. Also, if you have any films or film franchise in any genre and on any streaming service that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below too. I'll try my best to get them as soon as I can if I can find them. Yeah, make sure you subscribe. Oh, we'll find something weird, obscure, and odd that you probably never thought of checking out together. And also, so you're my opinions on popular films. I've come out classic films and reviews on other things as well. And finally, like I said, make sure you tune in next time. Ring that bell because we're going to talk about AVP. Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. So, yeah, we'll get that one done. Actually, I think, and then we got some comedies and stuff coming up. So, tune in for those. And, um, yeah, but that's it for this one. Watch out for all those two alien species always fighting it out on Earth and trying to annihilate us all. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So, until then, cheers.